The Tasmanian devil is the world's largest surviving carnivorous marsupial native to Australia. The Tasmanian devil once occurred on the mainland of Australia, but was believed to have become extinct from the mainland over 400 years ago. Now, the Tasmanian devil is only found in the wild on the island state of Tasmania and has become an Australian icon. However, the Tasmanian devil has not always been an icon. During the time of the European settlers in Hobart, the devil was considered to be such a pest that in 1930, a bounty scheme was introduced to have the Tasmanian devils removed from properties in the northwest of Tasmania. The devils were trapped and poisoned, causing them to become extremely rare. This was the reason a law was introduced in 1941 to protect the Tasmanian devils so their population numbers could increase once again. Unfortunately, over the past decade, their population numbers have declined dramatically to between 50 to 90 percent of its overall population. This ended up with the Tasmanian devil being listed on the endangered species list in 2009. Devil facial tumour disease is the main cause of this rapid decline. The first case of devil facial tumour disease was documented in 1996 by a wildlife photographer. Since then, approximately 80% of the infected devil population has died due to this cancer. When it was first detected, it was only in the northeastern parts of Tasmania. It is now dramatically spread and the northwestern areas are the only places free from devil facial tumour disease. Devil facial tumour disease is a cancer-forming virus that only affects the Tasmanian devil. The disease is most likely a rogue cell line which is transferred via allograft. An allograft is tissue from the same species of animal that's transmitted to each other. In the case of the Tasmanian devil, the receiver's immune system doesn't refuse the allograft. Devil facial tumour disease is 100% fatal. The first symptoms are ulcers found inside the mouth. Once these symptoms are discovered, lumps around the neck and face area quickly form which will usually turn into ulcerous tumours. After these have formed, they can be found to be quite crumbly, which means that pieces can easily fall off during fights or mouth wrestling over a carcass. In extreme cases, large tumours stick out of the face and neck, which could then push the devil's teeth out of place and assault their eye sockets, which could make it very difficult or impossible for the Tasmanian devil to eat. Once all these symptoms have occurred, the Tasmanian devil will usually become crippled and die within a six month period due to showing lesions or starvation. It's thought that devil facial tumour disease is transmitted via quarrelsome behaviour. Also, after the Tasmanian devil eats bones from a carcass, if cuts and wounds are opened, the cancer cells can easily implant themselves into the cuts on the inside of the devil's mouth. Since the Tasmanian devil population that lives in the northwest area of Tasmania is unaffected by devil facial tumour disease at this time, it's thought to be believed that this is because the Tasmanian devil has a low genetic diversity. Yet even though this is the case, the genetic basis of the population from the northwest area does seem to be completely different than the population that lives on the rest of the island state. It has been confirmed by a karyotypic analysis of a tumour versus the host cell that devil facial tumour disease can be transferred between devils that aren't related to each other. As the tumour and the host present dissimilar chromosomal arrangements, it's highly likely that all tumours are a consequence of the same rogue cell line. Other factors such as Tasmania's expanding plantation forestry industry, foxes and other foreign predators have been considered to contribute to the Tasmanian devil becoming endangered yet devil facial tumour disease is still believed to be the main cause. Unless a breakthrough is made in research and at the rate the population numbers are decreasing at, the Tasmanian devil is definitely on the road to extinction.